So the anointing of prosperity works in the form of favor. And it was with the Israelites in the book of Exodus chapter 12, the verse number 36. One night, the Bible says God gave them favor. And everything they have worked for in 430 years, one night, it was given back to them. That is how the anointing of prosperity works. And today, that favor will work for you. If only you activate it, that favor will work for you. Don't say you don't have. There is something that you can give. There is something like you can give. When Madame was preaching, our elder was preaching, he said, you have to plan your giving. You have to plan your giving. And so, begin to lay something down. Begin to put something down. Begin to put something down. One time in Midas, after giving, that was the first time I gave my car. And when I gave my car, that night, the Lord visited me. So this thing giving that we are talking about is not that we have not tried it. We have tried it and it has worked for us and we are talking about it. We may not have the physical cash in our hands to show it, but God has given us something and he's taking us through process and we will get there. We will get there. And that is what you have to understand. The Lord ministered to me. And in that, me, in that vision, I will see that there was a Deba and kings from different, different nations has come. They have gathered there. It was like the whole world were coming to that Deba. All this was like an exhibition. And I found myself at the gate with a lot of people at the gate. And they were not permitted to enter because there were security men at the gate who would check your passport. It is a qualification that will give you access to that place where they were doing the exhibition. And I was not qualified. Likewise, the people I was there with, none of them was qualified. And all of a sudden, one of the kings came out to the gate and the king said, this one is qualified. And they said, no, I'm not qualified because they have checked my particulars and I am not qualified. And he said, I gave to him one time and that is what made him a king. And that is what has brought him to that exhibition. And so if my giving has helped him to be there, then I'm also qualified to be there. And then they gave me access. And when I went, I went there, it was an exhibition about Jesus Christ. Everything about Jesus. There is messages. Everything. They were talking about it. They were showing it. And I saw different, different, different mountains in that uh, uh, compound. And I saw Papa. Papa was in one of the buildings. And he called me and told me, follow me. And that is where I am today. Giving gave me access into ministry. And the man of God told me that when you follow me, you will see clearly. And that is revelation. The man of God has revelation. And he said, when I follow him, I will receive a portion of that revelation anointing upon his life. And from that time, anything that will happen in my life, the Lord give me a dream about it. Anything that has happened, the, the Lord give me, except that I don't work on it. And then it happens. Anything, you can ask my wife, anything, anything. And it all came through giving. True giving. One time in Midas, when I gave, that was the second time I sold my car to come and give another part. And when I gave, I encountered an angel. And the angel told me that I will never lack in my life because of what I've done. And I've never lacked until now. To the glory of God, I've never lacked. And in that vision, the following day, it was a, a, a Wednesday. When I came to church, the uh, papa gave me, I saw in the dream that the angel handed a 50 cities note to me. It was the brand new 50 cities, that shorty 50 cities. Brand new that has come in the system. And then the angel handed it over to me. And I said, but this is 50 cities and you are saying that it will never finish in my hands. He said, try it. And so I lifted up my, head, my eyes and I saw a provision shop in the dream. And then he said, go and buy whatever you want to buy. And I saw I bought things. I bought things in sacks. 
and I came out with it. But when I came out, I so saw the 50 cities note with me. And I so saw change with me. And he said, that is what I told you. It means that that money I've given to you will never lack, will never finish. And you eat and eat with it until I bring you to a place of abundance. You enjoy with it. That is what the Lord told me. And the next day, it was when I say, when we close from service, Papa said, I have something for you. And then he gave to me, where at my servant? He gave to me, when I opened it, it was fresh, brand new, shorty, 50 cities. Exactly as I saw in the dream. And so the Lord was giving me a confirmation of the dream he showed me. Hallelujah. And so this thing giving, it works. It's not because we are, I mean, enticing you to do it. Personally, you have to be convinced about it. You have to be convinced about it. Our testimonies are enough it will do something in your life. But personally, you should have conviction about it. You should have an encounter with it. And the encounter comes when you obey and begin to practice. We are coming to give. We all know how the economy is difficult. But in this kingdom, the economy of this world doesn't work on us. For our supply is in heaven. And once your heart is for the Lord, God will work out things for you. There will be a supernatural exemption for you. You want to begin?